They're doing those balloons, no way. That's, that's crazy. This video has been shared millions of times online. It shows two young people doing balloons whilst driving. Whilst this video may not actually be real, the consequences of using nitrous oxide and driving whilst high are very, very real and very, very serious. Nitrous oxide, more commonly known as NOS or balloons, was originally developed for use within the medical industry as an anaesthetic and pain relieving agent. You'll often hear people referring to using laughing gas to help relieve pain during childbirth. Nitrous oxide is also used in the hospitality and catering industries, helping to whip squirty cream. The small canisters are inserted into a whipper with pouring cream added. The cream is then gassed and voila, whipped cream. When nitrous oxide originally began getting used as a recreational drug, users would use the small creamer canisters in a cracker to release the gas into a balloon and then inhale it from there. More recently, and more concerningly, users have started using the larger canisters, which makes it much more difficult to regulate how much gas is being inhaled. The images that you can see here are becoming very, very common right across the streets of the UK. They also have a massive environmental impact littering the streets and creating an eyesore. Nitrous oxide, also known as NOS, balloons, hippie crack, laughing gas, whippets or chargers, has so many different names right across the country. NOS is a colourless gas sold in canisters, usually inhaled using a balloon. Nitrous oxide is most commonly found in small pressurised metal canisters. The shiny metal canisters or whippets can often be found in the streets outside bars and nightclubs. It's commonly called NOFs. Some people say that the gas has a slightly sweet smell and taste. Nitrous oxide is inhaled. People open the canister, transfer the gas into a balloon and then inhale from the balloon. This is why it's sometimes referred to as doing balloons. Inhaling nitrous oxide directly from the canister itself is very, very dangerous because the gas is under such high pressure and it comes out at such an extremely cold temperature. This can damage your throat and lungs. It can also stop you from breathing and slow your heart down to a dangerous level. Using nitrous oxide directly from a large canister makes it harder to keep track of how much you are taking, so you're more likely to suffer the negative effects of using a lot of gas. Nitrous oxide slows down your brain and your body's responses. The effects of nitrous oxide varies depending on how, how much has been inhaled. It gives feelings of euphoria, relaxation and calmness, as well as fits of giggles and laughter, hence the name laughing gas. It can also cause distortions, hallucinations, severe headaches, dizziness and it can stop you from thinking straight. It can cause short-lived but intense feelings of paranoia. How long the effects last and how long the drug stays in your system depends on how much you've taken, your size and what other drugs you may have also taken. Alcohol can also have an effect on the way nitrous oxide affects your body. Nitrous oxide is often taken in combination with other drugs and substances. This means its effects can be unpredictable as it depends on what other drugs are being taken with it. It's also a short acting drug which can lead to people to frequently redose and end up using more than they originally intended to. If you take too much nitrous oxide, you risk falling unconscious and potentially even suffocating from the lack of oxygen. People have died this way. It causes dizziness, which might also make you act carelessly or dangerously. Heavy, regular use of nitrous oxide can lead to a deficiency of vitamin B12 and to a form of anemia. Severe B12 deficiency can lead to serious nerve damage, causing tingling and numbness in the fingers and toes. Bad choices stare back at Musa every day. A nitrous oxide habit has left him unable to walk. Kerri-Anne was a regular user in her teens and early 20s. 
She started to lose sensation in her limbs after inhaling up to 600 balloons a week. It can cause life-changing damage. It can also be very painful and make walking difficult. It can even lead to paralysis and the damage may be lasting. Regular use can also stop you from forming white blood cells properly. Nitrous oxide is a psychoactive substance. As of 2016, nitrous oxide is covered by the Psychoactive Substances Act and is illegal to supply for its psychoactive effect. Driving whilst high is also extremely dangerous and illegal. If you're caught drug driving, you may receive a heavy fine, a driving ban or even a prison sentence. If the police catch you supplying illegal substances in a home, club, bar or hostel, the landlord or owner or manager can also get prosecuted. The government are working with the police to currently change the law around nitrous oxide. In an attempt to try and educate people and raise awareness of the dangers of using nitrous oxide and driving, an awareness event was held in Bradford in April 2023. It showed fire crews extracting casualties from a crashed vehicle. It shows the dangers and how scary being in an incident like this can be. My name's Imran Ali, I'm the Assistant District Commander for Bradford and I manage risk reduction. My name's Craig Kettlewell, I'm the District Support Officer for Bradford District and I also work for risk reduction. I'm Dave Jones, I'm a community engagement manager with the Yorkshire Ambulance Service. Okay, so today is about a multi-agency approach in regards to uh, the dangers associated with the use of nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas. Uh, I've been invited along um, to take part in this uh, multi-agency event today uh, to look at the effects of uh, nitrous oxide use uh, on people. So we've seen over the Bradford District and West Yorkshire um, the use of nitrous oxide increase and the, the data to collection of that is very, very difficult. But what we are seeing is crews, and that's police and fire service crews, attending road traffic collisions and nitrous oxide laughing gas being in the vicinity. So just highlighting to people across West Yorkshire that it's a danger and we want to show people that we work together quite quickly in these road traffic collisions and how we can um, prevent people taking laughing gas and nitrous oxide and driving. It's not only a danger to the people in the car, it's also a danger to the number of pedestrians as well. It's, it is becoming um, a rising problem, use of nitrous oxide, um, and obviously that, that then has a direct impact on, on our services. Today is all about highlighting the dangers associated, um, not just uh, short term, or for drivers but also long term and the effects to the, to the body so it's about a full round education about um, the, the dangers associated with taking nitrous oxide. Sometimes you see nitrous oxide people think it's because it's a gas it's a safe substance and we're just highlighting some of the long term health implications it has. Whilst under the influence of nitrous oxide it does affect the human body it makes it uh, um, it makes you less alert uh, um, and obviously that will impact the ability to drive. Uh, we'll turn up to RTCs and, and the, uh, the, the lasting effects can be uh, wider field uh, in regards to family and friends. Uh, these can impact families massively. Just do it, don't do it. it it's, it's not just the immediate effect it's we've seen today, you know, the, the, the potential what could happen and the lasting effects of, you know, that, that high for a short space of time can have a, a massive effect on somebody's life forever. We want to make sure that um, people don't have the, uh, the lasting effects from uh, dangerous RTCs, not just uh, um, because of the impact uh, 
do to themselves, but the wider impact to the family, the friends, and those uh, that could be uh, obviously impacted through uh, the use of nitrous oxide. Uh, get some help, you know, for anybody that's with somebody that, that's in that position, don't leave them on the back because you've got potential choking hazards if they start to vomit, um, if the uh, air, airway becomes blocked from the tongue, get them onto the side, but get some help, get us there, yeah, don't mess about.